See, I think the money actually has to be returned into the policy you want to promote. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm a skeptic of those kind of tax cuts anyway in terms of whether they really they have real benefit um, for people. And so, for example, if, if we're going to impose taxes, uh, you know, a real tax, a significant tax on polluters, then I think it's actually important to take that and invest it in the kind of technologies and green buildings and green infrastructure and renewables and conservation and the things that you want to promote. Uh, because we have to begin to incentivize and, and to reward uh, communities that would be adversely impacted. That would be you know, better for me and in some of my communities um, than it would be to simply get you know, a, a tax credit or a tax cut um, and a check in hand. It, would mean, it could mean rent, um, weatherization. It could mean um, building green buildings in community and, um, and um, replacing wetlands and all of those kind of things that would actually have a broader public benefit and incentivize um, a green infrastructure rather than incentivizing uh, continued carbon production.